be sharing on mercy, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great sharing with you about mercy. And I did mention to you prior, and I shared with you about mercy. What is mercy? And we looked upon certain few things on dimensions of mercy. And I told you, mercy, it is not what people think. Most people associate mercy with only when God is merciful for you, if you are a sinner, and then God has mercy on you and forgives you. And this is so much common to so many people's belief and thinking. They always think mercy is when they have done something wrong and they have been pardoned. Yeah, that is a mercy. But there are levels or dimensions of mercy. Now, that could just be a common way of mercy. And we look at scripture where the Bible talks about the general mercy, the common mercy. Hello? We read the scripture. The Bible says that God has mercy on everyone. That is general mercy. God has mercy on all people. Right now, everybody is living by the mercy of God. And that's the general mercy. Somebody say general mercy. So if you look in the book of uh, Psalms 86 verse 5, we find the mercy which God has for everybody. It says what? For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive. You see that type of mercy? Now, I want you to see this type of mercy. Uh -huh. and it uh, is, deals with the forgiveness of sin. God can have this mercy with anyone. He can forgive anyone and show this kind of mercy. All right? It says what? You, God, are good and ready to forgive. And abundant in mercy mm -hmm. to all those who call upon you. All right. So this mercy, God can demonstrate it to any person. God can show anyone else who says, Lord, forgive me. I have done this wrong. God is good, and he can forgive everyone and show this type of mercy to everyone. Are you here, right? Yes. But I want you to see something here that is very important. We look now on dimensions which I shared with you. The mercy for forgiveness of sin, which all of us, received or we keep on receiving every day God has mercy on you God can have mercy I tell people that God doesn't hear a prayer of a sinner he doesn't the only prayer of a sinner that God can hear is God have mercy on me forgive me God will hear that prayer when he forgives you then he can hear your prayer but God does not hear prayers of sinners are you understanding what I'm talking about? Yes. The only prayer he can hear is what? God have mercy on me and forgive me for my sins. Now when he forgives you, the Bible says he's just. You hear that, right? Yes. After he forgives you, then God can answer your prayer. Now that is to do with what? Mercy for all. God has mercy for all. Now, if you are following me, wherever you are, say, God has mercy for all. God has mercy for all. Say it again. God has mercy for all. God has mercy for all. In that type of mercy, it is the abundant type of mercy. As we continue, that I want to show you today, the most important verse as well, Psalm 145, verse 9. On general mercy, this mercy is for everybody. God can show mercy. It says what? The Bible says the Lord is good to all. Good. And his tender mercies are over all his works. The Lord is good to all. So this type of mercy, it is not for an individual. This mercy is for everybody. He can have mercy on you, forgive you. This is a general mercy. But we have got now levels. Where you begin to move from that. And I told you, what is mercy? I said, mercy, it is God's system of advantage that guarantees or ensures that we become full expressions 
of his expectations regardless of our humanity. So God demonstrates that it is beyond you being a human. It is God's system of advantage. So you were a sinner. You were a sinner. But then despite your sins, God says, you know what? I'll give you an advantage. I have forgiven you. What is that? Mercy. You are advantaged because of mercy. However, it goes beyond forgiveness of sin. It begins to go in other factors of, of life. So you will see the other factors which we shared the other day. So there will be mercy. God will begin to say, All right, I have shown you mercy. I have forgiven you. That's another mercy. But then God begins to look beyond the definition of just having an advantage where you were a sinner and now you are forgiven. So we begin to look more definitions tonight of what is mercy. Oh, are you here, somebody? So we look at this one. So before we even go into that, we want to see this. So mercy, if God has a mercy on a person, remember what is mercy? It is a system of what? God's advantage. If God wants to give someone an advantage, he gives him what? Mercy. A person who operates in mercy is not in the same level with any person who is not under that operation. Because this person already is advantaged and you are not. Hello? So we looked at what? Uh, levels of mercy. And we looked at the first, plenteous mercy. The Bible speaks of plenteous mercy. And we looked at this plenteous mercy as what? As a mercy which God gives people. And we read Psalms 103 verse 8. All right? The Bible talks about plenteous mercy. All right? This mercy is when God gives you so much mercy. In other words, the word mercy there is the God's system of advantage. In other words, you get into a level where you have got so much advantages in the spirit. Plenteous. Plenty advantages. Or am I talking to somebody here? Yes. To an extent that anything you want to do, you have an advantage already. It is too much. The Bible calls it plenteous mercy. Number two, uh, compass mercy or surrounding mercy. This is a level of mercy from the scripture we read in Genesis 32 verse 10, Psalm uh, 32 uh, verse 10. We read these scriptures and the Bible speaks of Surrounding mercy. Where you get surrounded by mercy. Are, are you hearing me? Yes. You are surrounded by what? Mercy. You are surrounded by God's system of advantages. The Bible says, but not with a sinner. Not with the wicked. He is surrounded by trouble. But to those who fear the Lord. Those who trust in the name of the Lord. Mercy surrounds them. Advantages surrounds you. No matter what you're passing through. But people wonder that, why is Major One going through all these problems? But looks like there's nothing he's going through. Because he is surrounded by God's system of advantage. Receive this advantage. Somebody say, I'm receiving a system of advantage. So I'll be advantaged. I will be advantaged. Now, if you are speaking it in faith, raise up a hand and say, I'm, I'm, you are talking to me, prophet. You are talking to me, prophet. So I receive the advantages in the spirit. I receive the advantages in the spirit. Say, plenteous advantages. Plenteous advantages. Surrounding advantages. Surrounding advantages. So I'm surrounded by advantages. I'm surrounded by advantages. These are systems of God. Yes. I have seen people who just want to say, I'm praying. I want God to give me healing. I want God to, to make me big. Wait, God does not just make you big without a system. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? God does not just make you big without what? He, he rides on his systems. So he gives you mercy. Plenteous mercy. Compass mercy. 
the, the surrounding mess we just talked about, the Bible talks about it was working on Jacob. In Genesis 32 verse 10, Jacob operated in the surrounding mess. Wherever Jacob would go, his surrounding was advantaged. I'm not talking to you. The Bible speaks that even the animals which he was taking care of. Are you understanding? Gods, gods, gods. The Bible says that these gods had one color. But the Bible says when he became a shepherd, taking care of them. They were local gods. But when he became a shepherd to take care of them, they became hybrid, exotic gods. And the Bible says all the people began to come to Laban to buy gods. And they said, we have never seen this type of gods. The Bible says it was because Jacob was in charge. Received this system of God's advantage. Jacob operated under the what? The surrounding what? Mercy. God's system of advantage. Until Laban said, what do you do? The Bible says when these animals, when they are, when they are mating, when they are mating, and they are looking at the trees. The Bible says when they are looking at the trees and they are mating. When they are giving birth. The animals which they were coming from those animals. Was the color of what these animals were looking at when they were mating. You didn't hear me. If the animals were looking at the color yellow. There was a yellow goat coming out. Until today we don't have those hybrids. Those colors disappeared. They only happened in the days of Jacob. He's, the mercy of God surrounded him. Am I talking to somebody here? When you do business, only this happens on you. People say, but how do you do it? How, how do you, why are you so different? Somebody said, I receive the surrounding mercy. Number three, we looked at the sure mercy. Which was working on David. In his Isaiah 55 verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me here. And your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even the sure messes. The sure messes. The sure messes. Of David. So there are certain messes are very sure. Certain advantages. You just know that these ones. No one can fight me. They will lose because I have sure say that. So nobody can fight me and win. Me and win. Say so I have sure messes. I have sure messes. Say so poverty will never come to me again. Poverty will never come to me again. Say so I operate in the sure mercy. I operate in the sure mercy. You are way about it's a covenant. Number four, great mercy. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 1, verse 8, and Luke 1, verse 58. The Bible says, you have shown your servant great mercy. And then Luke 1, 58, the Bible says, and God showed her great mercy. And the cousins and the neighbors came and rejoiced with her. For the Lord had given her great mercy. Are you understanding? This one, it is for international events. When God wants to publish you the whole world. He gives you great mercy. If God wants you to break history, he gives you great mercy. When God wants you to break the continent, to take over on a certain a big project, you need the great mercy. Somebody said, receive the great mercy. And what is mercy? God's, God's system of what? Now, when you receive great mercy, it means what? You receive great system of advantage because what you're about to do is a great thing. So God will give you the great advantage that even if you match with the people, people wonder why. When God gives you great mercy, you have no competitor. I'm not talking to somebody here. You, you, you are just advantaged. And you see the church is not living in these things. Now that you are learning these things, when you are fasting now, you will know, I have to fast for surrounding mercy. I have to fast for, for what? 
great mercy. I have to fast for plenteous, for sure mercy. Now you know. I need a system of God's advantage. I have never operated under it. Right now, you know what I'm talking about. Most of you, you have been all the times disadvantaged. You try this, you are disadvantaged. You try this. It means you are lacking a system of advantage. You don't have even to see, ah, I, I think I'm operating in it. No, we, we first look at what is happening around you. Are you disadvantaged or advantaged? Receive the mercy. Someone say, I receive the mercy of God. Now you know. Hey, if you have a neighbor next to you, say, you need to watch me. How I'll be surrounded by mercy. How the plenteous mercy will affect me. Then we have the vessels of mercy. Now this is a level where you are no longer surrounded. But you become a vessel. You carry the mercy. Am I talking to somebody here? You carry the advantages. You walk with them. Hiya, yeah. It's a vessels of mercy. The Bible says in the book of Romans. It says in chapter 9 verse 23. And that he might make known the riches of his glory. Only the vessels of mercy. So God will not make known the riches of his glory. If you are not a vessel of mercy. The Bible says God makes known his riches of glory. To those who are vessels of mercy. So people will be like, Papa, oh Lord, I'm praying. I want to see your glory. May I carry your glory? God will be like, are you a vessel of mercy? The Bible says God makes this to those who are vessels. Raise up your two hands and say, I receive, I receive. 